Coming to you all the way from Norfolk, Virginia, Go On Podcast presents The Sexperts. And we're recording and entry music, entry music, entry music, and hi there. Welcome to The Sexperts. I'm your host, Dr. John T. Alanese, SCPM. And I am Delilah Haydair, um, stain lifter at Delilah Stain Removal. Um, let me go ahead and press play on your jingle there. Come on down, come on down to Delilah Stain Lifters. We're going to lift you up, baby. That's a deep stain, girl. <laughs> And I'll uh, press stop on that. Okay. Wow. Great jingle. Okay. Well, welcome to the Sexperts. Uh, we are your hosts. We are your lovers. We are your sexperts. We have a combined sexpertise of about 350 years. I I, I have a spreadsheet and everything. I'm, I added it up and wow, we've been in this biz for a long time. We, uh, 1983, we scored mm-hmm. perfect 1600 on our sex ATs. <laughs> yeah. And then we went bowling afterwards, scored two perfect games of bowling Including a turkey in the tenth frame, mm-hmm. and we did a couple lines of coke, and then we went out to the discotheque. And let's let's take this show on the road, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Well, what an origin story. Okay. Um, <laughs> so welcome. We're here to talk about sex. Uh, everything from the highs, the lows, the ups, the downs, the left, the right, the ins, the outs. Questions you were afraid to ask, mm-hmm. or were afraid to hear the answers to. Yeah, and we're coming to you uh, live. We're actually at an outdoor Renaissance fair, Ren Fair, Ren Ren Fair Fair. Um, <laughs> what, what are you laughing at, Delilah? Uh, just your, your, while you said that, your face turned into uh, Stimpy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, just, that's stupid, but you know, I can see that. Um, I love that you're wearing a full suit of armor, Delilah. You really got into this Ren Fair. Yes. Um, I am kind of embarrassed with yeah. my body. My curves, oh. my post-pandemic curves. So oh. this suit of armor really helps me conceal <laughs> my lumps. <laughs> well, it's very shiny. You put a lot of s- s- polish on it. You're, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're really into chemicals now with the stains and stuff. Yeah, I've got some, um, you know, commercial grade industrial <laughs> strength. You got to have certifications <laughs> to get access to them. But I can use really? them. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. You had to take a, a test like we took the sex ATs? Oh, yeah, yeah. I had to fly to uh, Colorado. Yeah. I spent like a four-day weekend there just Mm -hmm. lifting all kinds of stains. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) What was that like? You had like swaths of stains and you had to like get them out or or else you would fail? Yeah. Well, first you have to examine them and figure out what they are. They don't even tell you what they are. Yeah. Can you use smell, the sense of smell and taste? Oh, yeah. You can. It's not like soccer where you can't use your hands. (laughs) Um, You can use anything that the good Lord gave you. (laughs) Whoa. And you can lick it too. Yes, you can. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I learned the method from my dad, which is just to get down on your hands and knees and just mm-hmm. smell, smell, smell <laughs> till you convince yourself what it is. Wow. That sounds like an early 90s rap, hip hop, R&B song. Can't you smell that smell? <laughs> no, that's a rock song. <laughs> I think smell, 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 get down on your knees, gotta smell, 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 do what you please, gotta smell, 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 smell. smell. That's more ska. All right, uh, moving on. Uh, Let's introduce our topic of the day before we get too chatty. Look at us. We're two chatty Cathy's here at the Ren Fair. Two chatty Cathy's. (laughs) Two chatty Cathy's at the Ren Fair. Uh, Let's introduce our topic of the day, which is uh, I like big butts and I have to lie. Um, It's quite the um, conundrum. Yeah, we're talking about anal sex and compulsive liars. What do they have in common? I like big butts and I have to lie. I can't stop lying because I'm a compulsive liar. Uh, okay, and let's get to our uh, guest. Uh, she's walking up right now with a big old turkey leg, enjoying the Ren Fair. Hello, welcome. Well, hi there. <laughs> hi there. Oh, I love a good Southern accent. Um, why don't you introduce yourself to our audience out there? Well, hello. My name is Charlene Bridgeport. Uh huh. Oh, of the Bridgeport family. Ooh. Mm, yes, okay. and uh, I am an egg cracker mm-hmm. professional. <laughs> Now, let me clarify. I think probably I know how Delilah's braid works. You crack eggs. You're not just an egg white person, right? When you say egg cracker. <laughs> no, I I actually crack the eggs and I can do it so perfectly. The line is just right straight down the middle. 
No shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I'm glad we caught you. You invite us to this Rin Fair. Um, it just happens. That, I mean, it's not a, really a medieval talent, but they book you at these kinds of things just because there's do. chickens around. Yeah. Well, you, you can you can still do it with a sword. So. <laughs> wow. Um, would you care to demonstrate? Do you oh, have yeah. Do you have some eggs on you? Or do you need some eggs? Oh, no. You know, I carry some with me mm-hmm. just in case. I'm kind of like a traveling show sometimes yeah. with these things. So I just kind of go around and do it. Yeah. Oh, you even have your own chickens. I do. <laughs> which, they follow me around. Which did you that carry f- with you first? Um. Well, let's see. Wait, what was the question? Which did you carry with you first? The oh, chicken or the egg? No, oh, no. <laughs> well, that's quite a conundrum. You know, I did get Henry first. Henry, Henry you, laid the egg. You have names for the chickens. I do. I mean, they're I just do. like dogs. So yeah, who else do you have? Henry and who else? Henry and this other one that you see over there, mm-hmm. that that blue chicken. She's real, real special. Her yeah. name is Sylvianne. Sylvianne. Mm-hmm. I like Ooh. Henry because I like a chicken with a hen's name. <laughs> Sylvianne Bridgeport. That sounds like a romance novel writer. Um, the way we touched our butts together by Sylvia and Bridgeport. Oh, would I, <laughs> I want to get your, your perspective on, um, I like big butts and I have to lie, but let's I do the whole see the demo first. Yeah, I want to see the demo. I'm first, hungry. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> wait, what? I didn't bring turkey leg money. What do you, but what are you going to eat? What, what are you going to eat? What do you do with the egg when you're done? I assumed you fried it up. Oh, I mean, certainly mm. you can, you oh. can eat these eggs. Oh, okay. Yeah, they are. They are impeccable eggs. Well, if, well, if you could, if you could uh, crack three of them <laughs> and some salami and maybe a little cheese and spinach, that'd be great. Yeah, and also why I crack a window because I am gassy today from all this Ren Fair food. Ooh boy. Anyways, let's get to the demo. So, uh, all right. So you got your egg there, and what I do you do. what do you put it on to keep it from rolling away? What do you put that egg on? Well, I like to use like uh, a rock <laughs> usually. Iraq, just a nice, or Iraq. <laughs> yeah. nice flat to clarify, rock. it's not in the country over yonder. Okay. Oh wow. You have yeah. I see that mm-hmm. you have a very you specialized see this beautiful rock. one right here. It's perfect mm-hmm. for egg cracking. Of course, of course. Uh, I could also like you know um, was that pumice your nails or your your feet or whatever. Anyways, uh, okay. So you're putting the egg on there, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. uh, and then what you, you see you, you got to hold it real steady. Mm. Got to hold it real steady. That mm-hmm. is the trick to getting that perfect crack right down the middle. Right. And then you hold it steady, and then. Oh wow! Wow! There you go. Wow! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it is wow. And to think you did that without any like technology or I know lasers. Laser. I was thinking of lasers. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, you, are you ever tempted to use technology, or was you that, know, is that cheating I, in your eyes? <laughs> I had considered it, you know, yeah. to keep up with the times. Especially mm-hmm. like I sometimes go to the like those five star Michelin restaurants to mm. kind of help the the chefs work on their technique, and they like to have the most up to date technology, mm-hmm. but. Um, I, I just really felt it wouldn't be true to myself. It wouldn't be true mm-hmm. to the Bridgeport family yeah. if I if I brought the lasers in. So talk to me about, I know there's a big rivalry right now uh, between the Bridgeports and also the Davenports. Mm. So we got the Bridgeports who are all about kind of organic, using rocks and everything mm-hmm. like that. The Davenports from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Mm. This is almost like a, a, a Tesla versus Edison kind it's of It's like sort a of blood thing. versus crip. Of blood the versus industry. crip, it yeah. Is. Uh, it is. Red versus blue, Many Democrats versus Republicans. And the, the Davenports, they are all about technology. They they laser engrave uh, eggs. They do. Um, they do. How did that all start? Like, how did this this blood feud between the two families start? Well, I have to say, it started about mm, well before technology. Honestly, about two hundred <laughs> years ago, they mm. started using wires to cut the eggs. So Whoa. you know, whatever the technology was at the mm-hmm. time, and it slowly evolved into the mm-hmm. lasers. I hear they can laser like three hundred eggs open at a, at a time perfectly. I yeah. mean, they can, but they got the lasers. Where's the skill in that? The machine's doing all the work. Like the wire 200 years ago, doing mm-hmm. all the work. It was. But what's more important, skill or feeding the needy? It's mm. the skill. It's the skill. <laughs> I wasn't 100%. expecting that. 100%. Classic Bridgeport answer. <laughs> it is the skill. Look, you, you can go over there with that other family, just like Johnny wanted to 200 years ago mm-hmm. with his wires. Mm. All no. right. So, and I hate to bring this up, and I might be blindsiding you, but uh, I've been reading the, the tabloids. I've been reading the little gossip rags, you oh, know. Um, mm. I have heard that although your families have a strong hatred for each other, 
you're actually in a kind of a little love affair with one of the Davenport secretly. Can you confirm? Opposites attract. Mm. Okay. Uh-oh. I don't want to speak mm-hmm. too much on it because yeah. I don't want the food industry to go crazy, okay? <laughs> okay. But Johnny, the, he's like Johnny the 200th. You know, there's mm-hmm. a lot of generations going on here. Yeah. He, you know, he's all right. Yeah. He is open to skill work and not just the lasers. Mm-hmm. And uh, there, there's a little bit of respect there. There's Ooh. a little bit of mutual respect there because you know he respects me. I can res- I can respect his lasers because he does hand sometimes. But you didn't hear it from me. <gasps> My God, Delilah, did you hear what I heard? Yes, but I'm confused because apparently I did not hear it from her. All right. Hey, listen, let's get back to our topic of the day. Okay. We're getting way off track here. Uh, our topic of the day is I like big butts and I have to lie. So compulsive liars. I got to that- tell the truth about something. Oh, okay. I don't eat eggs anymore. <gasps> Why? Because I cracked open an egg, made a mess of it because I don't have that kind of skill, but there were two yolks in it and it just freaked me the fuck out. Is it, you were just looking like those infomercials. I can't you? do it anymore. I can't not knowing how many yolks are going to be in it. I can't handle that sort of uncertainty in my life. I thought the, the two yolks is supposed to be like a, a lucky charm or something. What does the two yolks mean? You're an egg expert. Yeah. Egg so expert. It, <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Yeah. It is actually an incredibly lucky thing. It means that if you sell an item like whatever item you want to sell, mm-hmm. if you sell it, you're just somehow going to get like double the money. Whoa. And the circumstances, mm-hmm. like it can be anything. It can be like the person accidentally gives you double and doesn't notice it. They could offer you double the money. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Two people could come up and want to share the item and they both buy it for the same price. Like, And, and how long... Is that good for? And would anyone like to buy a suit of armor? <laughs> when you're selling your suit of armor already? Or does that mean you're becoming more confident about your body? I'm feeling good, yeah. Oh. I've been eating low carb, just mainly <laughs> fake eggs. Wait, for for how long? For the time we've yeah, been here at Yeah, when did Renfair? this egg situation happen? Yeah. It happened uh, two months ago, about 60 <gasps> days ago. 60 days. You know, you're pushing the limit a little bit, but you, you, might, you might get double the money. All right, well, this suit of armor is... Going for 240 bucks. Where do you see the future of um, the Bridgeport egg cracking business? What is that? Because we're not going through, you know, the technology because that's the, the Davenports, right? Mm-hmm. So well, and mm-hmm. once you master the laser, like you've kind of hit mm-hmm. the, your technological peak. I know. You're like Tron. What are we going to do? Like yeah. atom bombs yeah. for no. eggs? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, well, at some point, you have so much technology. People mm-hmm. want to come back to the simple things, mm-hmm. you know, and we might start classes. Pass along oh, the technique yeah. of the Bridgeport family of the egg cracking, because that's yeah. going to take a long time mm-hmm. for people to get a real long time. People will be busy for a very long time with that one. Yeah. The entertainment is endless. I see that. Well, I mean, OK, playing devil's advocate. <laughs> um, you know, once you see an egg crack like is perfectly down the center, that's kind of it. Right. Like, I mean, that's I've seen it before. Like, I, I kind of don't need yeah, to see until it you're again. hungry again. Yeah, you can do it once, but can you do it again? What is your streak of perfect egg cracks? I don't know. I bowled a perfect game once back in '83, so I don't know. But you get. We want to see like the Michael Jordan of egg cracking. We want to see it keep happening. Who is if we want a five egg omelet? Every single one of them perfectly cracked down the middle. Who's the Scotty Pippen of egg cracking? <laughs> who's the number two? The number two. Who makes Who makes your skill possible? Yeah. Well, the number two, you know, for us naturalists, mm-hmm. uh, that would have to be my second little cousin. Mm-hmm. Uh, his name is Billy. Ooh. And he is he is quite good. He might take my spot someday. Like, I keep an eye on him. <sighs> I've read about him. Yeah. Billy Billy Bridgeport, the bad boy of egg cracking. Mm-hmm. He's the one where they shoot the eggs in the <laughs> air with little, like, potato cannons and he just karate chops them to perfect. He does. Yeah. He makes a whole show. He does. He goes straight up evil um, Knievel. A lot of people say he's mm-hmm. kind of, um, kind of appropriating uh, Eastern culture <laughs> with the the martial arts because <laughs> he wears like a karate oh, suit. Yeah. and mm. he does the hi. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's very, very eighties. Very. 
S- very ins- Cobra Kai insensitive. Of, yeah. yeah, he's the Cobra Kai of egg chop. Well, he he doesn't give a, a toot. He doesn't give a rip because he's the he bad doesn't. boy of egg cracking. Yeah, is he out of rehab? By the way, <laughs> he is. He's doing so much better. We really had to get him to stop sucking those eggs. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it was real. T- it was really taking a toll on him. I never knew when somebody would be like, "Go suck an egg," or like, "Oh, you egg sucker!" Like I, th- I just thought it was a random, silly sort oh, of thing. No. No. Oh, I always took it literally. I always took it real deep. I would go straight. I would go straight to the store. Yeah, um, that salmonella. If you suck an egg straight raw, it'll do something to your mind. If you've ever been on psilocybin with the, the mushrooms. This is a deeper high. Oh. This is a body high. You, we would show up to his house and he would just have empty eggshells everywhere. <laughs> just with a little pinprick in the top, he would suck it right out. I'm oh one bout of salmonella away from being slender again. <laughs> Are you on the salmonella? Oh, Delilah's shaking his head up and down. He doesn't remember this is a podcast. <laughs> I Well, I didn't want to admit it. Yeah, on air. On air. But mm-hmm. I've been going to... Um, You've heard of ayahuasca? Yeah. People go down to like South America for that. Yeah. I go down to South America for salmonella weekends. Oh my God. Where I sit with a a tribal, like a tribesman and he walks me through the process of ingesting salmonella and I spend the weekend vomiting and pooping on myself. But I come home and I... (laughs) I've really dealt with some of my issues and I, f- I feel and look great. Yeah, uh, you, uh, yeah you do. Uh, thank you for being honest. Oh, speaking of honesty, let's uh, get to our topic of the day. We have not talked about it at all. Uh, our topic of the day is I like big butts and I have to lie. So the thing with compulsive liars and oh, anal sex uh, is they have uh, to. Uh, what? Um, what's, what's going on, Delilah? Uh, you look a little red in the face. I'm seeing some people here at this Ren Fair doing some things with eggs that I just don't agree with it's not the it's not the davenports is it they all are all wearing <laughs> black shirts with big d's on them <gasps> i don't know if that's <laughs> it's a little on the nose <laughs> those skeezy little foxes coming into my territory <laughs> i love your skeezy little foxes <laughs> it almost sounds cute i don't it know it almost sounds like, like an indie rock band <laughs> skeezy little foxes <laughs> Uh, hey, this is Paul Chagru, and this is Skeezy Little Foxes with their new hit single, What Goes Up Must Come Down. <laughs> um, so what are you going to do? Like this, is, this seems like a turf war at the Ren Fair. You know, I might have to egg them. Oh, oh, what? What? Like it throw eggs? To it. Mm-hmm. Throw eggs at them? Mm-hmm. Whoa, you just cut that egg to where it's now a, it's not a perfectly cut egg it's Ooh. jagged and it looks yep. like it could be used as a weapon oh i have nailed every technique of egg cracking Holy including shit. the egg shiv egg shiv <laughs> and what is that is that like a little potato cannon that i was talking about earlier mm-hmm. where you can fire these egg shivs Indeed at people's necks? it is we need to get them off of this ren fair this is my <laughs> territory i claimed it they cannot be here this is very serious Do you have a license for concealed egg shivs you know, the government doesn't know about these, so if we could keep the <laughs> egg shit kind of... We're going to have to encrypt this episode, Dr. John. We are. Uh, yeah. We I, are. I know. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, our intern, Irvin, we'll, we'll tell him how to do that. Uh, listen, I, I just, I want to keep the peace. I, I don't want, and we still have much more to talk about with, uh, I like big butts and I have to lie. Um, but who's, there's somebody running towards this way. Who, who's that? Hi! I'm back, bitches. I'm out of rehab. Guess who it is? It's Billy Bridgeport, the bad oh, boy. Billy. <laughs> the bad boy yeah. egg cracking. I'm egg sucking, egg cracking. And I see some Davenport's about to get hit with an egg. I got my egg cannon ready, bitches. Okay, listen, sir. You really need to. Uh, I, enlist me in this war. I've got a suit of armor and I'm ready to battle. Hi-ya! Boom, boom. Oh, get him, Billy. Get him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at him go! Uh, he, like, it's really impressive. He's, he's like mm-hmm. he's like a Chris Farley type. Like he's really like a big bone guy, but, but he can with move. the fighting spirit he of Bruce really Lee. Can. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that movie Beverly Hills Ninja, starring Chris Farley. Rest in peace. He has ultimate egg throwing technique. <laughs> oh my god, uh, th- this is madness! Are you going to enter the fray with your egg shiv? I want 
Billy has just gotten out of mm-hmm. rehab. Yeah. I'm going to give him a moment. Okay. Let him enjoy it. Okay. If it gets if it gets a little crazy, yeah. which I'm keeping an eye on it. Yeah, he yeah. looks to have I lost. I will have to go ahead and jump in. He, he looks to have lost the upper hand. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Billy. I'm Billy, no. I'm bleeding, Billy. I'm bleeding from my butthole. They're shooting, oh, they're shooting, you know lasers, they're shooting egg lasers in his butthole. Okay, we're going to have to let you go and enter the fray. Um, i got to take care of this. Any plugs, anything you, that you want to um, put out there in the world? Do you have a book, anything like that? Um, well, I do have uh, five other rent fairs I'm hitting oh, up this month. They nice. are kind of like lined up every weekend. Oh, what, what cities? Name the cities. Uh, yeah. So we got Asheville. Uh-huh. We got um, uh, Reno, yeah. Nevada. Oh, well. Uh, we're going to San Diego. <laughs> coast to coast. I know. I travel all over the place. Yeah. Um, we are going to hit up Orlando. Oh. And then lastly, we're going to finish it off in Memphis. Well, that's all over. That's a zigzag. That's like a shiv, egg shiv. Planes exist for a reason, honey. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being on the podcast. That is it for the sex birds. Oh, she's oh she's in battle. Billy! Oh my god! Look at that. There's blood everywhere. This is the most violent rent fair I've been in. Okay. Uh, that's it for the sex birds. I'm your host, Dr. John T. Alanis, SCPM. And I'm Delilah Hader, and there's a huge crowd gathered cheering us right now. <laughs> we'll see you sex time. Oh no, Billy's bleeding everywhere. <laughs> that had to do with temperature. We're the sex birds. That's our show. If you like what you heard and you think it was worth a dollar, join the official Sexperts fan club at patreon.com backslash sexperts podcast. A special thanks to the Push Comedy Theater and all of our supporters.